I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using Wright-Patterson rules. This is the green book. This is where you can find all the hands. Since Wright-Patterson Mahjong is regularly a four-player game, the rules for Siamese Mahjong, two players, has been modified. You can find a link in the video description below. This game of solitaire might give you a good idea of what it's like to play. It's very challenging and a lot of fun. I hope you give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 28 tiles. They will be playing for East and South. Player 2 will get 27 tiles. They will be playing for West and North. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one. Let's roll for prevailing. I rolled a seven. That would be west. So I'm going to put a three up on the dice. West is prevailing. We have two, four, east and south. So I'm going to put these two back here. Actually, you know what? We want to get a bouquet. I think I'll put those two back there. I'll just put them all back there. If we can get a bouquet, we'll get immediate payout for that. They got another one. I'll hold it. This player needs to replace theirs first. Okay. We have dragons, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This hand is ready to win on a one dot for dragon lineup. That could be a winning hand right away. Dragon lineup is number 11 on page 18. Sequence of one and nine in one suit with one tile paired two through eight, right there. All we need is a one dot. Dragon lineup. We need a one dot to win. Up here, we have one, two, three, five, seven, three, four, three. I think I would just build cracks. If we can get four cracks, though, we could maybe do double numbers. Three, four, three, four. Let's start by discarding these and just see what happens. They have at least one winning hand right away. Okay, so let's see what we can do now for player two. Let's get a replacement for this flower. Okay, we do have mixed suits, but we've got lots of BAMs. We're playing for West and North, and West is prevailing. I was thinking we could play Windy Gates, but we need either West or North for Windy Gates. And we have two pair there. 
I don't think I would do that. I might play razzle maybe, five pairs in one suit with news. We do actually have some little chow potential here. One, two, four, two, three, four, one, two, three. I think I would probably stay flexible and discard the dots first. Hold the one, two, three potential. Maybe play Maybe play Betty. If we get rid of that, we could do one, two, three, little chows right here. Betty is a pair hand that can't use terminals. So, Betty is number eight on page 17. Three pairs in one suit. We have two right there. News, red, white, and green dragon, and then any honor paired. I think I would just hold them all. And then Little Chows is a mixed suit hand. Those are all found on pages 23 and 24. Little Chows is number 53. Chows of one, two, three, and then a one, two, three mixed. We have an extra one there. And then a pair of fours. We really don't need both of these fours, but we can hold them for options. Let's go ahead and exchange for this flower. We got a dot. We really didn't need that though. We need a one dot to win here. So let's see. We just need to discard. Let's start by discarding the one bam. And up here, I would not take that. This little chow hand is concealed. And even if we use the ones up here with BAMs, that would be concealed anyway. I wouldn't commit to a gate hand with only one nine and the wrong wind up here paired up. If I had a pair of West, I might take it because we're playing for West and North. So let's let it go and draw. We got a three crack. One, two, three, one, two, three, we need a one dot here, pair up the fours, and then a one, two, three mixed. Let's go ahead and discard the nine dot. Now down here, this is concealed. We need a one dot to win. I'm gonna use this to mark whose turn it is. We got an east. Let's go ahead and discard the seven bam. This is concealed up here. Four dot, there's our pair. We need a pair of fours. So we really don't need that. But let's discard these because now we have a pair here. We have two pair there. We really don't need these either way. So let's discard the five dot. And this is concealed down here. And even if we took a tile, we really only need a one dot to win. Eight crack. Okay, that could help with one suit. Let's keep the wind. Maybe we could get news and play Razzle. Five pairs with news. Let's go ahead and give up on these BAMs. Three BAM. Nine BAM. That's a pair. With Betty. You can't use terminals, but if we pair up and get more BAMs here, we could maybe play Razzle, which is news with five pair. And that's what this player was thinking, so let me just tell you where to find that. Razzle is number six on page 17. Five pairs with news. Let's discard this, six dot. Oh, West. Okay, that's good. Maybe they could get to that Razzle. Let's discard four BAM. Eight crack. We don't need that. 
we've got pairs here we've got a pair of fours here we need a one dot and then we need a mixed suit with this band let's go ahead and get rid of this four crack this is concealed six band Now we have a Pung of South. We could maybe do Suzy Q, South with Green. We have seven, eight, six. We really don't need these cracks. Let's just get rid of these and decide later. Seven, crack. Let me read Suzy Q to you. We're kind of short with dots and we need these dots down here unless we really switch things up and use the four dot we could do for example six or four six seven and then maybe use the rest of these bams down here just really change it up and get rid of this little chow hand and play bams and then suzy q the thing about suzy q is it's a double limit hand and you can call for discards suzy q is number 41 on page 22. Three different numbers punged in each suit with a pung of south winds and a pair of green dragons. So let's just see what happens. We don't have to make a choice right now. Down here, they can't claim that, nor would they want to. We want to stay concealed for Razzle. Five pairs with news. There's a six. We'll keep it and get rid of the four bam. So we're just gonna gather cracks till we run out of discards. Okay, we got a white dragon. We still don't have to decide on anything. We can get rid of this eight crack. Stay flexible. We'll draw down here. One dot. There's a winner right there. We really could get rid of this even. There, dragon lineup. Dragons with a pair. 1 through 9, any tile paired 2 through 8. There's a winning hand. If we stay concealed and claim a winning hand here too, a simultaneous double mahjong, you get double the value for both hands. So let's see if we can make that happen. Let's discard the 8 dot. Five dot. Let's keep that for an option, I think. We need to make a choice here. You know what, we really don't need this. Well, no, that's not true. We could maybe play Betty. All we need is a red dragon and a pair here. We have to make a choice right now. What I'm thinking here is that we're really light with the mixed suit let's go ahead and discard the five dot we really don't need that and we can let this go one more pick maybe let's draw two dot we don't need dots we need cracks we need to build up this hand here now because this one's done nine crack we don't need a nine crack Two bam. This is concealed. Eight dot. We just got through the second wall. So now we're going into the middle game. Everybody should know what category they're in at this stage. Here we have a winning hand, dragon lineup here. We're probably playing a pair hand, but we could maybe play Pung Chow. We have enough cracks and chow capability, seven, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, one, two, three, three, four, five. There's chow capability in there. So we could maybe play Razzle, five pairs with news or Pung Chow. Here we're playing little chows, but we're a little light with our mixed suit. And then up here, we're in between Suzy Q or Betty. 
So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. South. That is a keeper. Let's discard the four BAM and look at our pairs. We're going to draw up here in a minute. We have one, two, three. We need two more pair in here and a north. Six dot. We can discard that. Drawing down here, six bam. Two crack, there we go. One, two, three, mixed. Pair of fours, one, two, three, 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 mixed. We need a three dot and a one dot. So let's go ahead and give up on Susie Q and discard those there, I think. Hmm. Oh, let's see here. Susie Q would destroy this hand because we have fours here and we need those dots for Susie Q. The thing about Susie Q though, is that hand is ready to pung. Let's just see what we could do with the remaining tiles. If we did Susie Q, we would be able to use the nines down here. We would have four, six, seven or eight, and then we would use probably five, eight, nine, one, two, three. That could even be used. We would have one, two, three, hmm. This way we have four discards, no, five discards. If we played Betty, we would have five discards, Betty and Little Chows. If we played Suzy Q, we would have six discards, six, seven, eight, nine, nine discards because we don't need any of these although we could maybe do no i wouldn't do news we could maybe no they would be discards i think we should stick with this plan so let's see here we need to discard I think we should stick with Betty and Little Chows. Let's discard the South. Fewer discards. Let's draw. Four BAM. One BAM. We really don't need it. Let's discard the one BAM. That might have helped for that other plan. 3 BAM. Nine dot. Nine BAM. One crack. We don't need it, although it could give us a, some options. Let's get rid of the six crack north okay eight seven three one two five six what's out six crack was just thrown let's discard the six crack we got to pair up it to get ready to win on a double mahjong so we'll draw now seven crack Five crack, we paired up. Now, 
We need to discard these two, one of them. Neither are out. Let's discard the one crack. We're ready to win on a two crack for double Mahjong. We need five pair in here, and that would be the winning tile. One crack, we're ready to go. Eight bam, we have a pair right there, so we're okay there. Six dot. Six bam, that could be an option. Let's discard this six crack. Five crack, we've already got that. We need a two crack. North, they got the wind. Let's discard nine bam. Seven bam. Nine crack. West. West. Nine dot. This is a ready hand. We don't need to do anything there. Five bam. They got it. Okay, we'll discard those. This hand is ready to or ready to win on a red dragon. Red, white, and green dragon, news and one win paired, and then three pairs of simples. Let's discard the six BM. White, don't need it. White, we don't need it. Green dragon. Eight dot. We need a three dot in here and a one dot. North. Eight crack. Five crack, we've already got it. Five dot. Two bam. Five bam. Two dot. Six crack. We just got through the third wall, so we're going into the end game now. Everybody should know what hand they're playing and decide actually if they want to push to win or fold and play defense. So this is ready to win on a two crack for a double Mahjong. I would play to win. Here, this hand is ready to win on a red dragon. This hand might be a fold. They may try to just win with this and then play defense because this hand has a ways to go. Two or three tiles away, two tiles away. We need a one dot here and here, and we need a three dot. That's, that's two tiles to get ready. It's still doable though. Let's draw. Eight bam. Four crack. We've already got our pair right there. Double Mahjong. Right here. News. Two, three, five, seven, eight. Dragon lineup. Razzle and dragon lineup. Double Mahjong. So they would get double payment for both of these.
So instead of two single limit hands, they would get two double limit hands. And this hand was ready to win, but the dragons were here or in the wall. So player one, double mahjong. One suit and honors. There are so many options. It's pretty flexible. And player one won double mahjong with two one suit and honor hands. Something to keep in mind. Player two was not that far away though. They were ready on Betty, one suit and honors. And then their mixed suit hand struggled a bit. Couldn't get the ones. Little chows. I think they were held with player one. They had dots and cracks and little numbers. So there was a bit of a battle for tiles there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using Wright-Patterson rules. May all your picks be keepers.